Hey guys, so Wecker, welcome back to Rain Code. Let's carry on where we left off. It's our final hour. We've just gone through an entire duel with Makoto Magutsuchi. He's gone through about ten of his masks. We're surrounded by mystery phantoms consisting of the entirety of Kanai Ward, and we're facing off against a giant Yuma Koko head. Things are pretty dire. You may be wondering how we got to this moment. Well, <laughs> shit, it's a long story. You can watch the playlist. In the meantime, Let's take on our mystery phantom and get to the bottom of what exactly Makoto wants from us. I have a bit of a random theory. Perhaps he thinks that uh, clearing the mystery labyrinth will allow Shinigami to do something, perhaps, that will finally allow the homunculi to die, right? Because one of their characteristics is that they're immortal, right? But uh, what we've seen so far, however, seems to go against that theory with uh, some of the culprits we've faced off against in previous cases getting their souls reaped and yet they uh, come back to life. So not even the power of a death god is enough to send them to the nether realm. In any case, you let's proceed. Okay, looks like my own self-doubt has somehow draped the city in mystery. Oh, you. Really? You think you've got what it takes? This better be the last mask you have in your repertoire. Well said, Master. What, what mystery do I even serve here? <laughs> his identity? There's still one unanswered question. I mean, it's plastered on his face, literally. It's about him. You still haven't confirmed his true identity. I mean... We've kind of theorized from the start who this may actually be, and I promise it wasn't a random guess this time of clones. <laughs> it was calculated. That's true. I still don't know who he really is. I've never seen the face beneath his mask. Hmm. You're right. I have to figure out who he is. Well, I mean, the name Makoko is in the middle of my own, so maybe that was the clue all along. Thank you, Shinigami. It's my job to keep you relying on you, Master. <laughs> of course. You've got quite a capable assistant. Oh, mighty detective. I hope she doesn't end up becoming your burden. Just stop. There's no need for the truth. Well, Mystery Phantom Yuma has two question marks on his face. He's got double Makotos. Truth isn't needed in this city. He's also six times the size. Some deep bleeding on that stupid trash. <laughs> okay, he still looks like me. There's no need to call him trash. Again with that? Come <laughs> on. Okay, Shinigami. Let's lay it all out. Alright. Oh, we're doing this again. Goodness me. It must be twilight at this point on Shinigami's island. What is Makoto? Um. Oh. UNCAT. I mean. What is he? A homunculi, right? Ugh. Shit. Oh my god, one day I'll figure out where the button is. There we go. Come on. It's not like I spell this word every day. Just need an I or a S. Homunculus. <sighs> Alright, good start. But who was he a copy of and why didn't he get weakened by the sun when he first arrived, right? He had to build the rain machine or the cloud machine. The Rainy Cloud Machine. Oof. The reason you're so desperate to defend Kanai Ward is because you're also a homunculus. That's why the blood you shed earlier was pink. The color of your blood proves it. Makoto Kagutsuchi, you are a homunculus! I'll laugh if he just goes, yeah, so what? <laughs> 
If you expose anything else, you will only be hurting yourself. Oh no, why would that be? Huh? You are so close. Come on. You're within reach of my mask. I've already slapped that shit off your face more than once. Where was Makoto born? World Detective Organization? Nope. Amaterasu Lab? No. UG Research Facility! Ugh. Okay. <laughs> it remains! You saved Kanai Ward during the Blank Week Mystery. You are able to move about, unaffected by sunlight. Because you're the perfected homunculus. Which means you're not a defective homunculus. You're not an ace defective at all. Mm-hmm. What else? Three years ago, right before you came to Kanai Ward, a homunculus escaped from the UG's research facility. It was the only perfect homunculus specimen. That's what you are! Oh, yeah. Uh, is your head gonna get too big for your mask? Because that's how I'm gonna identify you? Yes, keep going. You can reach my mask if you just go a bit further. Oh my god, why does it sound so dirty when you put it like that? Makoto's DNA is based on... Number one. The world's greatest mind! Ugh. Based on the DNA of the WDO's number one. Therefore, you must be the homunculus of number one, Makoto Kagutsuchi! You don't look old. He's a copy of number one? He doesn't look like the number one we saw. So maybe his youth was restored when he became a homunculus. He's definitely a little number two. If you looked just like number one, it'd be easy for you to manipulate the WDO from the shadows. That's how you procure dangerous criminals as food for the homunculi here, isn't it? I see. Number one. So that's my identity, huh? And what's the identity of number one? Right, right. Things are turning out as I expected. It's so refreshing when things go as you plan. <laughs> like, I feel like we need to turn around right now. We're playing right into his hands. Planned? But it's not over yet. You're still not done. You still haven't seen it! What's with him? No matter how many mysteries I solve, it doesn't face him. And it's all going according to plan. Master, I'm sorry, but this... This could be really bad. <laughs> you think? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Something strange about this phantom. There's still something more to him. He's got coalescence. What is he hiding? It just feels off. That's why he was unaffected by uh, the time stop and the fact that he could come in here. For now, let's figure it all out. Concentrate, Master! Okay, concentrating. Spot selection. Identify what feels out of place. Uh... What feels out of place? What am I looking at exactly? What, his... his coat? <laughs> um... Is that it? Just him in general? <laughs> it seems to be the only thing I can actually click on. Nothing on his hands. Oh, his trousers I can click on? Interesting. Um, or the cut on his arm. Here. Do we just start with this? Yeah, that is a suspicious spot. Oh yeah, so suspicious. I don't know, it was, it was too obvious. <laughs> Speaking of which, that wound, why is he still bleeding? All the other mystery phantoms I struck with the solution blade never bled like this. Ah, that's what we're referring to. Okay, of course, sorry. <laughs> it's because we clearly know he's not a mystery phantom. It's these two, uh, Shinigami and, and 
Yuma that are still confused. So why? He's not a mystery phantom. Huh? I'm sure of it. He wasn't created by the mystery labyrinth. He was created by the UG. Then that's the real Makoto? Took you long enough to figure that out? Oh, mighty detective. Yeah, jeez, Yuma, get with the program. Shit, everyone in the audience figured it out by now. How did you enter the mystery labyrinth? Then again, we had the extra clue of seeing him move again after we entered the mystery labyrinth, so I guess we had a head start. I'm getting bored of all this talk. Let's finish things. Next time, I'll come at you full force. This will decide Kanai Ward's fate. Oh my god. If it's gonna be a QT, I'm gonna have even more less time. Even more less time? Even less time. Okay, let's scratch out the more. Only one of us to answer. will leave here alive. Tell me your answer! Okay. You can't just go take a swing at him! We're inside the mystery labyrinth, so you have to solve mysteries! I can't believe you're saying that at like five times speed. A person could make it inside here? You just might defeat him by answering that question! We've seen it happen numerous oh, times. How did Makoto enter the mystery labyrinth? Coalescence, baby. This is it. Ugh. Oh my god. I destroyed the building. Only those who have signed a pact with Shinigami can enter the mystery labyrinth. But there are exceptions. As the one who made the pact, those whose hands I've held with my coalescence can also enter the mystery labyrinth. <laughs> and I held your hand when I helped you across that uh, that pipe, no? When he asked for uh, assistance. Master, when did you use coalescence with him? Well, that's the strange part. I've never used coalescence with him. He doesn't have any ability I'd want to borrow to begin with. Well, that we know of. Then, how? Let's see if you can overcome that mystery. Who used coalescence? Yuma Shinigami Makoto. I didn't use coalescence, and yet Makoto was able to enter the mystery labyrinth. He stole my ability. So, Makoto used Coalescence on me? He has the same power? Huh? That's right. You got it. I used Coalescence on you earlier. Oh, you're so polite. Telling me when I get the right answer. We should turn off the alarm before we celebrate our reunion. Aren't you worried about Kurumi's body? It's all coming together. Here. Lend me a hand. <laughs> I thought this was just some smarmy way to freaking declare victory over me. I said, lend me a hand. And then you did. You cheeky prick. That was when you allowed me to activate Coalescence. But why are you able to use it? That power belongs to Shinigami. Nope, it's a forte. That's where you're mistaken. Coalescence isn't Shinigami's power. Huh? Coalescence is the forte of the World Detective <laughs> Organization's number one. Oh my gentle Jesus. Number one's forte? <laughs> Look at that, that uh, nervous smile on his sprite. What do you mean? If it's not Shinigami's power, then how can I use it? Hmm, come on. You're number one, you should be able to figure it out. Why are you paling now, Shinigami? Was I never supposed to know? Shinigami? Why aren't you saying anything? What are you hiding? I can't say. I promised. Well, yeah, it's part of our contract. I bet I don't even die if you tell me. You just didn't want to. Promised? What's wrong? It's the end for you if you can't figure this out. I will end you! Oh god, it's coming for me! Why? Why am I able to use <laughs> number one's forte? Ah, cause I coalesced with him. Way back when. Shinigami hide that from me. 
Wait. Could it be? Oh my. Is this related to my lost memories? That must be my true identity is. Human's true identity is Death God. No. It's number one. Oh, what a dodge! Truly, the perfect that was a number one maneuver. Was based on the DNA of the WDO's number one. Therefore, you must be the homunculus of number one, Makoto Kagutsuchi. Yeah. <gasps> Oh, for a second, I thought I sliced his face in half. Damn. It's like looking in a mirror, only not. That's impossible. How? We've seen homunculi in action. So you finally reached the conclusion? Behold, the truth that you've been seeking all along. Damn. Why does he make evil me look so hot? <laughs> you are number one from the WDO. And I'm the homunculus created from your DNA. I'm number one of the World Detective Organization? Sheesh. And I almost got framed for killing everyone aboard the Avatarasu Express. That's why I can also use your coalescence. Even this solution blade was obtained with this power. <laughs> but, but on the video feed, number one looks like an old man. Is that my real hair, or are you wearing a wig? That was a double. You're the one who put him there. Throughout the history of the WDO, those who become number one have rarely shown their faces to the public. They all had many enemies, making it problematic to be seen. It's standard protocol for directors to have doubles. Mm -hmm. And that old man was your double. Wait, what about me being a detective in training? Chief Yako said he investigated my background. Yeah, well, I am an enigma, right? I'm number one. But a detective in training was also summoned. Detective in training? Shinigami. <laughs> She's trying to get her. She's trying to get her badge. That's you, Yuma. Looks like you've been working toward being a detective at the WDO. <laughs> yeah, technically it was a demotion. You may be part of the organization, but you haven't earned your stripes just yet. It's true that there is a trainee detective by the name of Yuma Kokohead. Oh. It's also a fact that he was summoned to the Amaterasu Express. Then... You swapped places with the person named Yuma. I hope he's okay, wherever he is. I swapped with him? It seems he also came to Kanai Ward. I'm sure you've met with him several times. I, I have? So, I'm not Yuma? Then the real Yuma Coco Head. Ah! I'm ascending! Who gave up their identity as Yuma Coco Head? Uh. <laughs> that guy! No. No. Possibly? You. Oh, would it be that guy? I think it's. I think so, the guy who went to the, uh, the ramen place. The guy who was also aboard the Amaterasu Express, no? Because I still remember that random figure that came out of the train after all was said and done. And he's popped up numerous times. He's the detective in training? Was the man who kept running from me? That's correct. You are number one of the WDO after all. He's quit his job as a detective and opened up a food stand in Kanai Ward. Oh, good on him. You know? Shit. I'm happy for him. He's the real trainee detective. 
Yuma Coco Head. <laughs> you concealed your true identity and used him as a means to enter Kanai War. You knew you'd lose your memories signing the pact with Shinigami. And you couldn't just enter as number one. No, we had to go undercover. Even though your face isn't known, your cover could be blown if you use your forte. That's why you disguised yourself as the trainee. And, of course, you ensured he would keep it a secret as well. Hmm. That's how he switched places? That's just my theory, anyway. Your game theory? Our minds work the same way, after all. I'm sure we would come up with the same plan. <laughs> that, that's scary, <laughs> in a sense. Someone else sharing your mind, your, the same thought processes, the same imagination. Ugh. However, I'm sure he didn't expect you to come to Kanai Ward after swapping places. He arrived late on the original fifth car heading to Kanai Ward. Oh, right, of course. The fifth car that was left behind. That's right. Though a trainee, he's still a detective. He must have been wondering what happened after your agreement. But because so while he could whoa, do whoa, 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 whoa. much from afar. Not sure what happened there. Unfortunately. Is that why he always fled when he saw me? He must have been relieved seeing you get along with the other detectives. Hmm. So he decided to make a living in this town using the special talents listed on his profile. Cooking. I reviewed your profile in the WDO Of course. Record, and it turns out you have a phenomenal ability. An ability? So you <laughs> do have some sort of special power too? Your record claims that you're a great cook. Would you mind making us breakfast from now on? <laughs> it's all the little things, isn't it? That's the truth. Y you realized I was number one? Are you really shocked? Yeah. Naturally, I knew at first sight. That guy has the same face as me. Shit, he's number one. <laughs> it's that easy, Yuba slash Makoto. Because you and I have the same face. Exactly. <laughs> I'd hoped for a more heartfelt moment when I finally met my original. But that wasn't the case. I suppose that's because I knew you were a threat to Kanai Ward. If you knew, why didn't you do something about it? Why let us just roam free? As I said, you were useful to me until Yomi was dealt with. But more importantly, I was waiting for this moment. To confront the original. To replace him. Waiting? To confront you here within the mystery labyrinth. W what do you mean? I wish for you to vanish forever inside the labyrinth. Okay, jeez. Could've just let me get eaten by the homunculi, but no. Get the grand stand in here. Huh? If you vanish into the mystery labyrinth, I won't have to kill you directly. <laughs> Are you just all about keeping your hands clean? Because, dude, you've got a whole factory of criminals getting turned into meat buns. Which completes my perfect crime. Just like how you killed those other criminals. Perfect crime? With the original gone, I will become the real one. I will become both the CEO of Amaterasu Corporation and number one of the World Detective Organization. I'll be invincible! Uh, you already are. You're a, you're a homunculi. That was your goal all along? I suppose there's one way to deal with a homunculi, right? Letting them get lost inside the mystery labyrinth. Exactly. I'll let you enter both the restricted area and this mystery labyrinth. <laughs> I don't think you let us enter the restricted area. You deposited us there. Using coalescence to come here was part of my plan. Oh, so I can kill you here! You think you can take over the world or something? I swear every final boss is the same. <laughs> oh, not at all. With the WDO under my control, there would be no need for anyone to keep sticking their nose in our business. The mystery of Kanai Ward will forever remain a secret. I only have one wish. To protect the citizens of this city 
for the homunculi of Kanai Ward to live in peace. Mm, very admirable. I'll do anything to accomplish that. I don't care what I must sacrifice. I will protect Kanai Ward. And you will die here. For a smart guy, your plan is very flawed. Your death is necessary for Kanai Ward's peace. You had the advantage by keeping yourself disguised and not telling me I'm number one, right? You should have just killed me. Now I know who I am and what I'm capable of and what you're capable of. I'm on guard now. <gasps> to this city, you are the real evil detective. If you expose the truth, many people will suffer. I won't let you do that just to satisfy your ego. No matter how hard you try to destroy this peaceful world, I'll fight back using your own brain against you. <laughs> Good luck. It's not very bright to begin with. <laughs> At least my one is, personally. Homunculi may not be human, but they have the right to live too. I won't let anyone take that away. Even if you are number one of the WDO! <sighs> Sorry, but your plan isn't gonna work. I won't let you kill Master in this labyrinth! Yeah, I got a Death God on my side, mind you. The real one won't just stand by, no matter what the imposter is plotting! <laughs> that tongue. Oh god, no, I'm Master, shutting down! If this is the truth, the truth I've been seeking all this time, Maybe I should sacrifice myself here. What the? F no! Absolutely not! What? If what he said is true, it sounds like I'm the one threatening the peace in this city. Yeah, this guy's a maniac. He's kidnapping people all over the world, feeding these guys with human flesh. You're finally starting to get it. Yes, that's the truth. You are a threat, trying to destroy this wonderful world. W what are you saying? You discarded your pride as a detective and made a pact with a death god to go around killing people. You are dangerous. If you're not stopped, you will destroy all of Kanai Ward. I suppose that's the remaining mystery, right? Why did we make a pact with Shinigami? That's why I must defeat you. To protect this city! He's wrong, Master! You don't need to listen to anything he says! I've reaped the souls of many criminals. I told myself their sacrifices were necessary for others to be happy. But by that logic, if I disappeared, it would be a small price to pay to protect the city's happiness, right? Incorrect. You know, we could just leave Kanai Ward, right? You don't need to sacrifice your life for it. Which means it's my turn. I can't run away from this just because it's happening to me. I should be sacrificed for the sake of everyone else. W wait, Master, remember what you promised. You said you'd never turn away from the truth. That's right. But I saw the truth. I actually know what it is now. And now that I do, I've realized something. If I expose the truth about this city and tell the world, what will happen to Kurumi and the others? They will get nuked. You're not wrong. But the thing is, the originals are dead. These are just copies. But that doesn't matter! We're in the middle of solving this mystery labyrinth! <sighs> Obviously, they... It's a complicated situation, right? They, they're, as far as they're concerned, they are them. Like that is Karumi, that is Yomi, for better or worse. Um, so obviously, nuking them isn't quite so straightforward and easy of a solution, right? Uh, but there's got to be a better way. We don't have to expose the truth. We we know what it is. It should be up to us. <laughs> to share that or not. It does matter! Especially when it concerns their safety. This is their problem. I may be an outsider, but this directly affects them. Will the Yuchi go after them again? Is there any way for them to live without persecution? <sighs> what 
when I think about what's best, it's obvious I should sacrifice myself. Yes, that's the correct decision. Not as a detective, but as a human being. See, the way he's saying it, it's so condescending. <laughs> it's, it's not like, it's not even encouraging. He's like, yes, you're right. You're an idiot. Sacrifice yourself. You'll be a good guy. Doing that will allow the people of Kanai Ward to continue living in peace. Oh no! No! Don't shut down now! Shinigami, please rescue him! Oh my god. Oh. We truly are in the pits. the boy I wanted to help someone and we did help people help people We don't. For the good of everyone I love. <sighs> We're in control. God, what a sad, pitiful state we found ourselves in. Ah! Who's that? I can't even move. I can just look around. Get in here! Wait, you better be friendly! If it's a bunch of, like, cute monsters come to drag me away, then maybe not. It's getting stronger! Ugh! If only I could move! Oh my god, she's here! Oh god! Ah! No, I'm not pressing anything. Do I have to? Okay, I will resist. Unless I'm- oh, I'm controlling shitty Kami. Okay, that's fine. Yes, please! Oh, wake him out of the stupor! Ah. Oh my god, she just snapped my fucking neck. I'm dead. Thanks. Ugh. You're shouldering everything alone, and I've lost sight of who you are. That makes you no better than him! You're not alone. You've got a kind, teasing, needy, adorable puppy Parker by your side. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. I don't remember asking for your powers. Yeah, well, we did. You may not remember, but I do! You needed me. I'll never forget the words of the old you, Master. Oh my. Let's see. <laughs> I haven't seen a human in a while. <laughs> Everyone's scared of me, so I've been stuck in the WDO library for as long as I can remember. Am I gonna sound smart? So, uh, you really want to form a pact with me? You don't look like you're in trouble or anything. Let's just say I'm dealing with some special circumstances, <laughs> and I need your help. <laughs> I love just the subtle, like, extra bit of confidence in the voice now. Oh, you want me that badly, hmm? Where I'm going, the truth is suppressed, even when the mystery is solved. And that's why I needed to reap those souls. That's why I need you. You have a way to circumvent that. 
<laughs> You're really depending on me, huh? I may be cute, but I'm still a death god, you know. You gotta pay a fitting price to make a pact with me. I know. If it means perfectly solving the world's mysteries, I don't mind selling my soul. Oof. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. That is the detective's way. Oh, you've got a few screws in your head loose, don't <laughs> you? Why are you so hung up on solving mysteries anyway? To make everyone happy, of course. Huh? I want to eradicate all unsolved mysteries from this world and bring happiness to everyone. I guess number one's never heard the saying, ignorance is bliss, huh? Although, it's a known fact that some truths are cruel in nature. But exposing the truth to make everyone happy is the perfect solution in my mind. Okay, you robot. <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? What does that even mean? I want to make a world where no one weeps while imprisoned by unsolved mysteries. Is it really so strange to wish for that? Hmm. Well, well. I want to eradicate all unsolved mysteries from this world and bring happiness to everyone. You can't make everyone happy, all right? That's a fallacy on its own. I said that? When you found out someone created a homunculus of you and that it was part of the great global mystery? You formed a pact with me to settle things with yourself. And that's the path you chose for your perfect solution. You even sacrificed your memories and your position as number one to make it happen. So my being here with you is proof of your relentless will. I have to say it is kind of scary though, right? With Makoto, he's obviously the villain in this case. He's come up with this plan to save Kanai Ward, right? And he's gone off the deep end trying to commit this perfect crime that goes to show that you know in a slight change of circumstances Yuma slash number one here could have easily gone down the same path of you know uh, scorn vengeance because he's a perfect copy of us and seeing a perfect copy of yourself into the dark side that's terrifying because that literally could be you this isn't a foil this is literally you, like, but one slight tweak of circumstances and suddenly you're on opposite sides. What's right or wrong can change depending on who you ask. There are infinite correct answers, but the truth is different. There's only one definite truth, and that's what's inside this mystery labyrinth. Whether it's correct or not is a separate issue that you can figure out after the mystery is solved. But right now, you have to expose the truth. Otherwise, nothing can be solved. If you give that up, then your life as a detective, everything you've done up to this moment, it'll all be for nothing. <sighs> Master, you're not alone. It's a heavy burden. If you can't do it by yourself, then rely on me. Just like you always do. We may not be the best partners in the world, <laughs> But we make a pretty good pair. We do. At the end of the day, we do. You know, we have the bents. We have our, <laughs> we have our moments. But, god damn it, we're here for each other. So, don't call it quits by yourself. Exposing the truth to make everyone happy is the perfect solution. I'm not the old me anymore. There's no way I can do it. But. But I have to stand against this guy. He's cruel. There is something I haven't given up on. I want to bring happiness to everyone. I believe that on the bottom of my heart. So I'll keep solving mysteries. You can't take that away from me. Happiness shrouded in mystery isn't real happiness. Master. Real <laughs> happiness. Happiness not shrouded in mystery? Do you believe that could exist in Conival? Oh my god. <laughs> I see. He's a mystery phantom of you, not me. You think you can achieve this so-called perfect solution? A copy couldn't accomplish it. 
but you think you can just because you're the original? Hell yeah, I'm the OG, not some rip-off dollar store me. You're an empty shell of a man who has lost his memories. I was just trying to make things harder for myself. Do you honestly think you can make everyone happy? I'm by your side, Master. Fine notion, Yami. Let's expose these mysteries together. Okay, but what's left? My memories in my past don't matter. I will solve it all as Yuma Koku Head! I'm sorry, ramen shop owner. This is all mine now. Oh god. There are a lot of copies. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, one last RDM, huh? This music, though. Do, 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 do. Let's do this. The fight to the death. Ten years ago, Amaterasu Corporation received a request from the UG to research homunculi. Oh my the god, we're doing it like this? Use these immortal synthetic humans for military purposes. Oh, okay. We're just gonna slash statements at him? A massive amount of money was poured into the research. Amaterasu and Kanai Ward developed quickly as a result. But the UG also set up their own research facility, which pit the two organizations against each other. And three years ago, the UG facility finally succeeded in creating a homunculus. <sighs> this is this is a pretty neat way to tie things up. The birth of the homunculus based on the top detective of the WDO. Number one. Ugh. The first of its kind in the world. You, Makoto Kagutsuchi. Oops. <laughs> Wrong order, but I guess it doesn't matter. <sighs> Did I do enough? I, go. I missed the first couple. Oh, he's pit. going to. He's going to fight back. Okay. Yeah, let's. The real one? I can't back down. <laughs> what is happening? Stay out of my way. Ugh. I don't know which one's the right one. God. Especially with such little time. Like, what do you want me to do? Goodness. Oh, the one with the sword, obviously. <laughs> uh, here it goes. Hey. The only successful specimen in existence. Your creation was the root cause of the grand mystery this city got dragged into. <laughs> Whoops, sea doodle. Probably shouldn't have started this fight. Up close and personal. To eradicate all unsolved mysteries from this world and bring happiness to everyone. As your crew, I want the same thing. He said the sea word. I'll protect everyone in Kanai Ward. These pitiful homunculi didn't ask to be made, and neither did I. <sighs> I know. I know. The peacekeepers okay. Yomi held the real power in Amaterasu. And upon hearing of the Yuji facility's successful experiment, Amaterasu panicked and extracted blood from all the residents of Kanai Ward to initiate Project Homunculus. That's right. The experiment failed. Defective homunculi went berserk after exposure to sunlight, ravaging the city. This I just like this whole mystery. summary we're doing. You arrived at the city during these events and tried to rectify things. You made the rain cloud generator to block out the sun and brought the people back to their senses. But the original residents had already been wiped out by them. I didn't remember anything from the blank week, returning to their lives thinking they were human. Uh, uh, decided to exterminate Kanai Ward I can do this all day! Effective homunculi. 
dashing back and forth. Oh, you're you're getting wrecked! Holy shit! Oh my god! What is this? Have to defeat you! Ah! Uh. I have to save everyone. <sighs> yeah, well, I want to make everyone happy. Okay, which is infinitely more altruistic. Yes, yeah, Scottish Shinigami, please. Ugh. Oof. <laughs> but when you found out about the Yuji's inhumane research, you blackmailed them to cover up the events of the Blank Week mystery. Here it comes. Uh, you were right, though. One of us is definitely gonna die in here. It ain't gonna be me. I did whatever was necessary to protect Kanai War. All I hope now is that the rest of the detectives are still alive. Create more unsolved mysteries. Because I don't think this guy would want. I wanted to protect the homunculi. Them dead, no? I mean, he does want them dead, but I don't know. Letting them get eaten seems a bit too hands-on for him. Where am I going? Ugh, there we go. Come on, give up After your argument. With the UG, Kanai Ward became isolated and independent. True to his word, the former CEO of Amaterasu abdicated his position to you. <laughs> you immediately put an end to the homunculus research. This Didn't want any more of them. Of any more tragic homunculi, and to hide their existence from the world. Is that about right so far? Number one, you took advantage of the WDO. You Kidnapping criminals across the world. You brought them to Kanai War. Come on. Is this our last one? Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! I pressed Y that time for sure. I know the switch controller now. Even though this is probably like the very end. <laughs> oh god! Group hug! turned into food for the city's homunculi. I don't love myself this much. This is the truth behind the global kidnapping case! Mystery solved, bitch! Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution or through a perfect deduction. Slash, slash, slash! Always been my creed. But things changed when I discovered I was a homunculus. <laughs> someone else since I learned there were others like me. Exactly. Someone else entirely. Director Yomi was your biggest obstacle in protecting the homunculi of Kanai Ward. He and Dr. Wesker were planning to leak information about them to the outside world. They both had to go. If Kanai Ward's secret had been made public, the UG would have been forced to act. Yomi grew too powerful, so you summoned master detectives to Kanai Ward to get rid of him for you. <laughs> Once gathered here, we faced off with the peacekeepers just like you wanted. You helped Chief Yako get his revenge from behind the scenes, taking Dr. Weska and Yomi out of the picture! I guess we're not done! Can't lose. 
<laughs> Every mystery is going to be solved here. Whoa! Solution key Beyblade! Parry, parry, parry! Oh, we're even hitting the QTE symbols now. <laughs> I may be alone, but I'll still fight. I have to defeat you. I have to save everyone. Oh, that's your that's your flaw, my friend. I, 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 all on your own. Shinigami, need your help. I'm not alone, right? Ugh, there we go. I'll help you out. Cheers, is. Look. Oh, he's mine. Thanks, Shinigami. <laughs> this is so anime. Everything that happened in Kanai War. But Koto Kagosuchi. Kanai War is your excuse. You tried to enshroud everything, including your own crimes and mystery! Uh, here it goes. <laughs> oh, he's lost it. It's mine. Claim it. This Do I spare him? The real perfect solution. The only difference is... The world hasn't caught up to me yet. The WDO now belongs to me. The unified government will soon fall into my hands. What is this music? Or so I believed. But I can only lie to the people of Kanai Ward for so long. His uh, white noise point. style text is weak. I it's not even reaching me anymore. Eventually. There's no turning back. He's given up. What am I supposed to do? What you else can... should I sacrifice? What can I do to save everyone? Ugh. Truthfully, I don't know what's going to happen after we expose this, this truth. Time, I've carried this burden alone. I can't take it anymore. <sighs> Somebody help me. He just needs a friend. We were getting along so well. He even gave me a present. The sun shines over Kanai Ward once again. The Mystery Labyrinth version, anyway. Shinigami, can you wait a bit? <laughs> Let's not start the celebrations just yet. I gotta give myself a good lecture. All right, you handsome you devil. You wanted someone to stop you from the beginning, didn't you? Were you hoping to be punished for your crimes? Is that why you came after me here in the mystery labyrinth instead of just annihilating me? Is that why you led me here? From behind the scenes. I don't fight to lose. As the real me, you should know that. I was gonna say, shouldn't you understand your thought process? Then again, his has been corrupted. Only one of us will leave this mystery labyrinth. My intention was to review our answers here. It looks like the conclusion has been made. I realized something the first time I came to this city. There was no perfect solution for Kanai Ward's mysteries. Yeah, I mean, it does sound very complex. And there's a great contradiction here. In order to follow through with the perfect solution, I had to commit another crime. I despise unsolved mysteries more than anyone else. And yet, I ended up creating even more. The mysteries have consumed me. Mm. Kanai Ward can't be trapped in the rain for much longer. You can't live in a world of lies forever. We have to put an end to this. I guess we do. 
I know it's our only option. Isn't there a way we could uh, upgrade the defected homunculi? But can you really do it? It's a cruel decision to make. What's wrong? If you refuse, you will be yielding to me. I'll become death or the devil himself for the sake of Kanai Ward. Now, choose. Either you reap my soul, destroy the mystery labyrinth, and expose the truth of Kanai Ward, or give up and remain here forever. <laughs> what is your solution? The perfect one. Master, Which is I already none. said everything I wanted to say. In the end, it's your decision. I believe in you. And then, okay, I'll stay in the mystery labyrinth. What? You fuck? No! Imagine. What's wrong? Destroy me already! Otherwise, you will die here instead! Uh, let's talk. Let's talk. Choose. Either you reap my soul, destroy the mystery labyrinth, and expose the truth of Kanai Ward, or give up and remain here forever. Hmm. What is your solution? My solution Master, is simple. I heard in the end. Okay, it's all the same. My solution is simple. It's a save, and then choose both. 